Hey guys, it's Chris here with another Monday show episode of the Halo Club where we get your comments from here to Twitter with the hashtag Halo Club. And we put them up on the show and discuss them and once again, it is just me because I like doing things solo. So let's go ahead and dive into the comments in just one moment. I do want to talk about this briefly. We are doing actually a retweet campaign. You can actually win a Halo 5 Limited Edition, which is worth $100. I know a lot of people are getting the standard one, but if you want a free $100 Limited Edition, then just simply follow us on Twitter and retweet the tweet linked down below. So let's go ahead and dive into the comments. Little Thomas Kid says, How is the crew doing? You, Dean, Token, and Buckeye. Well, for me, I'm a little bit sick right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, for Dean, and Token, they're both in uni, and Buckeye, I believe he's homeschooled, but we're all doing fine. We're all doing our own little things here and there, so uh, things are doing pretty good at Follower, if that was if that was sort of what you were asking. There's a lot of people on Halo Follower and Follower Interactive, period, which is, you know, the organization name. We don't only just follow Halo, we follow Destiny, we follow Valve, we're going to be following other things in the future. So it is actually a very huge organization, whereas just a year ago, it was just me, if anybody's confused about that. Delvadam on YouTube says, I personally don't want Halo Online because it's basically Halo 4 with microtransactions running on Halo 3's engine for PC and because there are no elites. There was actually a frame, and I have to go find that. I might put it up here, but there was actually a frame where it said Spartans and Elites in the customization menu. So there's a good chance that there will be Elites, seeming that it was actually in the trailer. And by the way, some news about that, Microsoft actually uh, put up a statement, I forgot where, I think on PCGamer.com, uh, big thing is, I forgot what it was called, but they are they are striking down Halo Online videos, even the trailer, trailer analysis. I don't know why they do this, because really when you talk about the game, like I am right now, it creates attraction, it creates a participation, it creates a community. This is what any kind of community is, it's just talking, you know, it's lots and lots of talking and participation and doing things. And I don't know why they, they keep doing that, but I'm sure they have their good reasons, right? Um, honestly, Halo Online, it actually looks pretty awesome. I, I definitely have been wanting this for a very long time for Halo to go on PC or at least an old version. You know, I would never say for them to make an exclusive Halo PC game and you know honestly I don't want them to do it the other way around where Halo 5 Guardians is just exclusive to Xbox. Now your opinions about PlayStation that maybe could make a little bit more sense to me but at least for PC because that kind of for me it seems like it's a neutral ground for everyone where it's not in the console war area it's just PC everyone has one pretty much and most people at least a good portion of them I would say maybe 50-50 have a computer that can run and plus Halo Online is actually set to run really well on you know l less good computers right it's it runs better than you would think it would right but let's move on to our next comment and you know responding to your uh, comment there though I was actually saying that you know Halo Online I think it should go on PC I can't really agree with microtransactions but it is free to play so it makes sense they got to make money either a studio or a business for games is so they got to make money somehow i understand business preston 343 says as promethean weapons were in halo 5 multiplayer beta do you think the prometheans will return yeah well we did see a little bit of that happening in halo 3 and 4 where there was no brute weapons in halo 4 there was no brutes in halo 4 so could that maybe give us the assumption, give us an idea that the Prometheans will be returning if their weapons are returning as well? Honestly, I think 3 for 3 has matured to the point where they're going to have the weapons in there no matter what because they know it's good for the gameplay. Multiplayer and campaign obviously are very separate and they're their own entities, their own spirits, you know, somewhat said, right? So I would say uh, really we can't tell. We can't tell. But moving on to our next comment from uh, Dakota Hudson, which is at Dakota Hudson 3 on Twitter. He says, Chris, two very interesting things. Questions, I guess. Two very interesting questions. Number one, would you like to see the Chiefs Black Military Service uniform as described in Halo Fall of Reach? Hell to the yes. I had so much, so much fun reading that book. That was the first Halo book I read a couple years ago. And, you know, it just made me, I mean... I can't say this enough, guys. Every every chance I get, I say it. 
you got to read the books. You got to read the books. At least Halo the Fall of Reach. There's people that are moderately into Halo. There's the lore masters, and then there's the people that just kind of play it for the multiplayer or just the campaign one time and then play something else like Call of Duty or Gears of War, right? Well, no matter what kind of Halo fan you are, and by the way, there's a quarter of a million that are on this channel, no matter what kind you are, you got to you gotta read Halo Fall of Reach. You pick it up, listen to an iTunes, do what you, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do to like actually see where Halo really started. Halo Fall of Reach is a great connection um, for all Halo fans, and I definitely recommend that to any level of Halo fan. I mean, if you're watching this, that's enough reason to really read it. And he says, one worn for ceremonies with medals, ribbons, and etc. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, I would love to see that. He said it would be interesting to see his decorations, a shoulder cord, etc. If maybe he got captured as he was a, was it a court standing trial. And he said, number two, would you like to see the chief training? Maybe with some flashbacks to training with Kelly and Sam, the augmentation. Maybe with some short gameplay. Now, that would be pretty cool. I don't know about the gameplay part. That seems a little bit out of Halo, I guess. It doesn't seem like Halo's really never gone into that. Uh, I guess at the end of Halo 4, there was the gameplay plus cinematic kind of interaction. So it could be. It could be like this very restrained but gameplay feel in the cutscene, basically. So, like Halo 4's ending, spoiler alert, If you, I don't know why you haven't finished Halo 4. But if you haven't, then jump away from this video. Get off. But if you have played Halo 4 and know the ending... You see Master Chief pick up the grenade, he runs to the Dynac and sticks it in his chest. So, Master Chief could do something similar. You could move the analogs to do something in the training cinematic if something like that would happen. Because this is all about Master Chief's history. It's all about, you know, the, our future lies and what is it? His past. <laughs> Whatever the Arbor said in the Master Chief Collection trailer last year, right? So a lot of it does have to do with Master Chief's past and it does make a lot of sense for us to actually see some cinematics maybe going back to what really made the Master Chief in Halo 5. Right now it looks like that is the direction that they're going in, the direction of going into Master Chief's past a lot and seeing what really started it all. So great, great subjects and topics to talk about Dakota. Really love them. So Operation Cosmo says... What if Agent Locke's trailer is at the beginning of the campaign and Master Chief's is happening at the end? Interesting, interesting. I don't know if they would put Master Chief's trailer. Um, I, I don't know why would they would be in the same spots, right? I think what they've been doing so far, and I think this is obvious to a lot of people, is that it's symbolic. It's supposed to be, you know, a lot of symbolism, right? So basically you gotta you gotta pay attention to the small little things i don't think that the trailers i don't think either of the trailers were really canon the agent lock trailer seemed a lot more natural and it seemed maybe that's just because we saw it first that that was the trailer that went out first and everybody witnessed that first but it seemed like questions like sarcasm and hatred almost it seems like it's going to be the plot for halo 5 but our next comment is from UNSC Sergeant Crasher. He says, here's some speculation I'd really like to see you discuss, Chris. When or what if when Chief asked if everyone, everything was worth it, he wasn't talking about Locke. So when Master Chief is walking up to Locke, when he's down in the position that Master Chief was, he's saying, was everything that you did worth it? Was this what you wanted? And he says, what if he was talking about himself? UNSC Sergeant Crasher great great speculation there love it talking about compromising his friendships and loyalties and causing havoc what if he is asking if all of the destruction that he master chief himself has caused for whatever reason was worth it to get cortana <laughs> so i love this dude i actually haven't thought about this you know i like to get my first reactions i don't actually read over these you know i kind of skim over them and then i'm like okay i'm gonna put that in the halo club but dude right now you have just got me hyped up that is some really cool stuff to think about he continues what if halsey is so twisted that she has manipulated the unsc's greatest asset to fight against them by using cortana as a pivot to get chief to do what she wants and help her get payback oh man I love it because a lot of speculation, it sounds like crazy and wild, like the mendicant bias things. There's really no hard evidence. But 
this, it, it, I mean, there's a lot of unsound theories out there. I've made a lot of unsound theories, but this actually really made me interested. Uh, maybe talking about it a little bit more, it just sounds so, it, may, it makes sense. It sounds like it's something that could happen in Halo 5 Guardians is what I'm trying to communicate. So that was some really great stuff right there. Moving on to our next comment, review your court papers, U.S. federal prison. <laughs> great, great, uh, great. <laughs> I love it. Oni is giving Rod a list of people to interview, he says, but all these people are fakes. John's supposed teacher slash boxing instructor and the woman who supposedly helped free John from captivity are both lying. And so there's been some signs of this. Oni is trying to cover up, he continues, the fact that John was adopted when he was six and replaced with a clone. Oni wants people to think that John signed into the UNSC and the Spartan 2 program willingly. Only Ellie and Katrina are telling the truth so far, and this is because Garad found them through his own research and not Oni. So this makes a lot of sense. They're giving Garad a certain list of people. You know, he already talked about this. We've already, you know, if you're not updated, we know that Garad has been given a list of people to interview because it's a fixed story. Well, Garad is going off and doing his own research, and he found Ellie and Katrina, which are which were two girls that knew John when he was a boy before he was adopted. So, yeah, it brings up a lot of interesting points. But let's move on to Garth's suite. He says, drivable anti-air ra rates uh, in Halo 5, even in multiplayer. What do you say? Yes, yes, yes. There needs to be more vehicles. Promethean vehicles, definitely. Maybe a foreigner vehicle. I would say maybe a Sphinx. That would be really, really awesome. I know a lot of the lore guys have been wanting that for a long time. So a War Sphinx, foreigner vehicle, that would be super, super awesome. But, you know, even stuff like any any kind of new vehicle, like the VTOL, any kind of new vehicle that isn't just like a copy and paste of the ghost or mongoose or warthog or something something that's new and different would be really cool but uh, i think that was just about it uh actually we got one more comment here let's go ahead and uh, talk about one delta three grim sevens comment you're giving away free copies of halo 5 guardians how the heck can i back me one of those i tried to win something halo related before and failed miserably to a guy that created fake accounts to vote himself up yeah, no, we, we, we look out for that voting and, you know, spamming and stuff like that when we were doing the follow TGN and at Halo Follower. I don't know if he's referring to our giveaways that we've been doing since February. We have seen that a few times and we, you know, we, we don't account that. We, that is very, very um, uh, frowned down upon, I guess. We, we don't pick you if you spam it. So I don't know if he was talking about ours, but we have had some of that and we do watch out for that and we try to do it in the most fairest way possible. We just click the random number generator and we go down. We click the total number and you just randomize a couple of times and then pick that person in that row. But uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, I think that was just about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you were looking forward uh, to a longer Halo Club show, sorry about that, but uh, that's what we got for this week. If you do want to get featured in the Halo Club, then simply hashtag Halo Club on Twitter or even here on YouTube. When I go in the comment section, I look up hashtag Halo Club and I find that key term and it's very easy for me to find people that actually really want to be in this show. But of course, we do look over comments. We have people that look over the comments anyways, and we do find some really cool subjects and things to touch upon that we haven't talked about before. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe here on Halo Follower. And I did want to talk about this. I don't know if I talked about it in the beginning. I think I did. Maybe not. But we do have a quarter of a million subscribers now, which is insane. I remember back in the day, I was a fan of CM Near, and he was at, I think, 105,000 subscribers. And that was way back in the day, the Halo 3 days, right? Since then, the guys kind of like left YouTube on and off. But I thought that that was really stretching it for the Halo community. I figured that, you know, I, I, I constantly have heard that the Halo community is dying. I keep hearing that, right? And I've heard that since I started and way before that the Halo community has just started to die. Even Google has shown that there has been less searches over since uh, 2008, it has gone down a little bit. But a lot of people have been saying that it's in hibernation. Whatever the, the, the fact is, is that, you know, we have a lot of subscribers here on YouTube and a lot of you guys are active. And when those Halo 5 trailers went out, things are going viral on YouTube. 
Um, things are going viral here on Twitter. Things are things are blowing up. And I think they're doing actually better than Halo 4, if I'm not mistaken. I think that Halo is is a real and is in a really good position right now. And I don't think it's dead whatsoever. I think that it's growing, and I think that a lot of people are starting to catch in, uh, catch up with uh, Halo and what's what's it all about and everything. And of course, the classics are a great introduction point. But anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like this video up if you want more episodes, and of course. If you want to get featured for a chance to, uh, you know, get featured in the Halo Club next week on Monday, and just hashtag Halo Club here or on Twitter, and uh, I catch you guys next week. So peace out.